How's it going everyone? It's Kevin here, uh, Movie Collector Maniac. I'm going to show you my uh, pickups over the probably last month or so. Maybe two months. I don't know. It's been a while since I made a video. So, these are all my uh, new additions to my collection. Uh, the first one is a DVD that I actually own and I let uh, my mom borrow uh, but evidently she couldn't find it so she ended up buying me a, a new copy of it. It's the North and South uh, book one, two, and three. This is a pretty good miniseries about the Civil War. It's got uh, Patrick Swayze, uh, Kirstie Alley, I think uh, David Carradine's in it. It's a really good, uh, good watch. So that is part of my TV show collection. All right, next we got these are all uh, Blu-rays. I'm gonna show next. Uh, got a uh, Old Henry. It's a pretty good western. It's a new western just came out. I ended up watching this with my dad. We we both enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen it yet, it'd be it'd be a good western to check out. And then I got uh, pick these up. These are uh, TV show uh, Yellowstone. Got the special collector's edition or something with the packaging with the Dutton Ranch decals or something in them. Ended up getting these from uh, Amazon, I believe. So I got season one, season two. And season three. I think I got these when they were like buy two get one free. So I got a good deal on those. Uh, season four is on uh, TV right now. So it's a real good show if you like Western. It's like a modern day Western. We have Heat, uh, I think the Director's Cut, Director's Definitive Edition. Next, we got a Liam Neeson movie, The Marksman. This is like a Danish movie uh, called Riders of, du uh, Riders of Justice with uh, Mads Mikkelsen. It's a pretty good movie. Uh, I heard they're doing like a re like a remake, Ameri like an American remake. I don't know with the same director, I think. Uh, so It's a real good movie, though. Next we have uh, Trick or Treat. I had this one on DVD, so it was an upgrade to a Blu-ray. We got Night of the Comet. Sundown, uh, Sundown, The Vampire in Retreat. Picked this one up at Walmart. I believe it was like twelve ninety six or something like that. And this, this one I picked up at uh, Best Buy. Creature from the Black Lagoon. It's got the 3D... And then also, so I, I might want to check it out on my 3D TV. I think it was like $7.99 or $8.99. Next we have uh, Ready or Not. Pretty good little movie. Uh, it's a recent movie just came out recently. And then uh, this is another uh, pickup at Walmart. Still on with Patrick Swayze. It's, uh, I think it was like $12.96 also. Then I got Elvira's. Haunted Hills, uh, collector's edition. That was one I had on uh, DVD as well, so that was an upgrade to a Blu-ray. This one's another upgrade from a DVD. It's called uh, Longest Yard with Adam Sandler, Chris Rock. Got uh, Burt Reynolds in it. Uh, I think Stone Cold's in it. A couple of uh, football players are in it. You know, this is a remake from the original uh, Longest Yard with uh, Burt Reynolds in it. It's a pretty good movie. Uh, this is the one I picked up at Best Buy. It was like $5.99. Uh, Eddie Murphy's uh, The Haunted Mansion. Uh, these are uh, a couple Black Friday pickups from last week, I believe. We got Batman The Long Halloween Part 1. And then we have uh, part two. I think those were like both like five ninety nine or something. Yeah, this is another uh, pickup from Black Friday sale from Best Buy. It's called the Courier. 
got uh, got Benedict Cumberbatch in it. Thought it might be an interesting uh, watch, so I went ahead and picked it up. This is the one I picked up at uh, Dollar General sometime, called uh, Your the Hunter from the Future. It was two ninety five, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up, maybe check it out. Uh, this is another Black Friday pickup uh, called The Lady of the Manor. It's like a comedy. Thought it might be kind of interesting. That one came with a digital copy also. I think that was like $7.99. Uh, I got a couple of Big Lots uh, pickups. Uh, Jackass 3.5, the unrated movie. And we got Jackass 4 coming out, uh, I think, next year. They got a move. It was supposed to come out this year, but... Jackass 4 should be out next year. Then we got a movie called Paradise Hills. Got a Mila Jovich in it from the uh, Resident Evil movies. Emma Roberts is in it. It's only three bucks. I saw it. Thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. Next we have another Big Lots pickup. Uh, All I See Is You with uh, Blake Lively in that one. I don't know how good it is. But somebody didn't own, so I went ahead and picked it up. I heard pretty good things about this one. This is a Nicolas Cage movie uh, called Pig. I haven't uh, checked it out yet. I'll probably uh, watch it pretty soon, see how good it is. And then I have another, or a Nic another Nicolas Cage movie called Mandy. It's on uh, Stillbook. Haven't opened it up yet. It's got a Blu-ray and DVD in that one. And then we have a couple TV shows on Blu-ray. We got the that 70s show, the complete series on Blu-ray. Now I have watched some episodes of this and I, I really enjoyed it, but I haven't watched all of them, so I need to pick this one up to watch, finish watching them, I guess, sometime. And then this is a pickup. Uh, this is a show that I used to watch uh, growing up. My sister used to watch it too. It's got Wonder Woman. The complete uh, collection with uh, Linda Carter, the original the original Wonder Woman. Thought I'd go ahead and pick that one up. It was a uh, I think it was on sale for like twenty four ninety nine I believe. So a pretty good deal on that. Alright, next we have all my uh, 4K Blu-rays that I picked up. We'll just start off with uh, The Silence of the Lambs. Got uh, Hocus Pocus. The Protégé. It's a pretty good little action movie with uh, Michael Keaton in it. We got uh, 2012. Got some more pickups from uh, Best Buy. Got Gattaca, Howard the Duck, a couple of uh, Alfred Hitchcock movies, uh, Vertigo with James Stewart, and then uh, Rear Window with James Stewart also. This was a Disney Mover Insider uh, free pickup with my using my points, Disney points, so. Coco, you got the Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It, and we got the Forever Purge, and then uh, Don't Breathe 2. I should have waited on those, I could have picked those up cheaper uh, on the Black Friday sale, but anyway, I'll go ahead and show you my Black Friday pickups, uh, these are all from Best Buy, you got Super 8. Uh, Space Jam, the original one. You got uh, Requiem for a Dream. Uh, I think I had this one on DVD. This was an uh, upgrade. It's a new movie called The Green Knight. I haven't watched this one yet. This is another new movie, uh, The Voyagers. Still haven't watched that one. And then we got uh, Bloodshot with uh, Vin Diesel. I've seen this one before. I had this one uh, on digital. So... It was pretty decent, I got. I thought. It was okay. And then uh, this is another upgrade, uh, Willy Wonka and the 
Chocolate Factory. Remember all the 4K uh, Black Friday deals I got from Best Buy. I go ahead and show you all my still books I picked up over over the last month or so, a couple months maybe. Of course, we got the new uh, Suicide Squad uh, still book. Got a lot of good little color on it. Uh, got the inside. If you want to see the inside. Of course, we got the screen still book. Got uh, Drew Barrymore on that one. Of course, we got uh, Black Widow with Scarlett Johansson. Not really a uh, super duper inside on that one. And then we got a. Uh, Cruella. Got the Dalmatian on the back. Oh, uh, there's the inside of that one. Next we have Unbreakable. Still book. And then we have this is one of my favorite movies, probably in my top ten movies. Do I enjoy watching? Got the Shawshank Redemption with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. There he is on the inside after he's escaped. Next we have a John Carpenter's The Thing, the original one with uh, Kurt Russell. There he is on the inside. Picture of him. And then we got F9, the director's cut. Probably one of the worst <laughs> Fast and the Furious movies in the in the series. But I had all the other still books, so I had to go ahead and get it. There's no no artwork inside of this one. Next we have uh, Free Guy with uh, Ryan Reynolds. Not really much on the back. I think it's got a pretty cool inside, but it's on the other side of the disc, so I don't really feel like taking them out right now, but I'll probably show my, uh, a more detailed of the blue, uh, the steel books later on. We got the new, uh, Hacksaw Ridge, uh, steel book. It's got the slip cover, the plastic slip cover. I really like, uh, I think Lions, Lionsgate is the one that comes up with these uh, plastic slip covers. I think. Pretty cool. I wish all uh, other studios would do that also. Be pretty cool. There's another Lionsgate one right here. You got like the skele uh, skeleton thing in the in place of them place of their uh, heads or whatever this one's a pretty cool looking still book the movie was okay it's not as good as uh, thousand house of a thousand corpses and the devil's rejects though the Rob zombie films so it's an okay movie though and of course you got American Psycho still book taking the mask off Yeah, it's a business card on the inside. Pretty cool. And then we got uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard with uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, Samuel L. Jackson. That little Target thing on there is Then we got the sequel, Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. 
This one has uh, Selma Hayek in it, playing uh, Samuel L. Jackson's wife. Got like a bullet. And that one, not really too cool on that one, but. It does have the cool little bullet, uh, like indention, like the bullet hit it because it's like pressed in. So, next we have the Terminator 2 Judgment Day still book. Recent pickup. Uh, if I can pull this down or up. Real cool looking still book. Oh yeah, those are all the Lionsgate ones with just plastic slip cover. Next we got uh Inglorious Bastards, Brad Pitt on the front. Then we got uh, Carlita's Way with uh, Al Pacino. I uh, got the new movie Jungle Cruise with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and uh, Emily Blunt. I thought it was a pretty good little adventure type movie. It's pretty decent. Had a little good comedy in it and action. Next we have uh, the G.I. Joe spinoff, uh, Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. Origins. I wish I had uh, made her back, a little bit better back cover on it. Not really all that great. Here we have Snake Eyes. I thought it was a pretty decent movie. About a seven, I guess. Uh, of course, Snake Eyes was one of my favorite G.I. Joes growing up, so. That's one reason I like the Snake Eyes. And then we got uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. This is one I had to wait for them to restock because I missed the first initial selling of this one so I'm glad I restocked it so I was able to pick it up yeah the planes trains and automobiles uh, still book just recently released just in time for Thanksgiving and then we got uh, the Mad Max uh, movies that came out on still book got uh, Beyond Thumber Thunderdome with Mel Gibson at the back. Uh, two men enter, one man leaves. And of course you got the the Road Warrior. You got you wanna get out of here, you talk to me. I had the uh, original Mad Max on 4K. I still haven't watched it yet. And last, we have the Underworld Limited Edition Collection. I thought they did a little bit better job on this one than they did the Resident Evil one. It pulls up. And these actually have their own uh, slip covers and everything in it. Of course, you got Underworld, Underworld Evolution. We got Rise of the Lichens. We got Awakening, and then you got uh, Blood Wars. So, 
Anyway, guys, that's all my uh, recent pickups over the last month or two, maybe, whenever my last video was uh, was made. If you hadn't done so already, please subscribe, like, share. Thanks for watching, everybody, and hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you picked up recently, and if you like any of these additions that I picked up, please let me know. And I'll see you on the next video.